Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Dark Souls 2. So last time we made our way through the show of a Sanctum City into the Inner Sanctum. Hey, we got a Sumbro. Death Race. Aw, oh, diggity. And then we took out an invader in the process. Now we're ready to go take on Elana, the Squalid Queen. Immediately after her, we can take out Sin. And then if we get some time at the end of the video, well, I hope we will, because, you know, otherwise that means we died a whole bunch of times. Hey, buddy. Praise the sun. But if we get time, then we'll also go take out the final boss, the Grave Robbers, Varg, Sarah, and Dave. That's their names, don't argue. And he's wearing a smell of demon helmets. Well, aren't you a badass? So yeah, I advise if you either have the full control spell, which I forgot to buy, but whatever, or the cat ring, you can pretty much just drop straight down to the bottom. But we can't really spare the ring slot, so not really all that necessary. And hopefully we won't die here and have to repeatedly drop down, but we'll see. See, as I mentioned, the sign on the left, that's still hot Ellie. She's alright for the fight, she's okay. I think if you go all the way to the other end, there might be another summon sign there. I don't really remember. Either way, bust in. See, she says different lines. I think she says something about, you will forever rot, and the other ones you are undeserving of the mire. Or not deserving of the mire. Don't really know what that means. All I really get is that, you know, she's evil and all poisonous and stuff. And by the way, if you look at her face, especially with the, uh... By the way, she's half dead already, good lord. But yeah, if you look at her face and the whole sort of neck thing she's got going on there, like the, uh... The collar, that's the word I'm looking for, the neck thing. Good work, brain. You, uh... You're not laying me down all <laughs> day. But yeah, if you look at her collar, she looks a lot like the head of the statues in the gutter and the gulch that shoot the poison. And it would make a degree of sense that they are modeled after her. So yeah, it's just kind of a nice little detail. Yeah, I don't... Oh, God. I don't know why she summons Velstats. I think she's gonna explode. Yes, yeah, she is. I don't know why she summons Velstats. I mean, he is the Royal Aegis. He is, you know, the protector of royalty. And, by the way, she did. <laughs> Holy shit. That's what I'm saying about the Red Iron Man. I don't even get time to explain the boss before she's dead. But yeah, let me try and explain that a little bit now. As you saw, she can summon Velstats. And he's by far and away the most difficult thing that she can summon. She can also summon three skeletons. In fact, I think the more summons you have, the more skeletons she summons. So if it's just you, there should be three. If you have one dude, it should be four. And if you have two dudes, it should be five, something like that. And they're not too bad. They can be, you know, drawn away with alluring skulls. So I recommend you try them out. But I won't distract them for very long. And third of all, she can also summon the three little pigs, like the ones that pop out of the ground in Medulla. But it's extremely rare, and I do mean extremely rare. I've killed her maybe five or six times, and I fought her many more than that. I've never seen her. In fact, it must be because I have a New Game Plus 7 guy, and I beat her most of the time. Maybe ten times I killed her now, I don't know. But uh, long story short, I've never seen her summon the three little pigs, but I know she can. So if you do, if she does, you got lucky. But again, you got to be aware, they can still attack you and do damage, so doesn't mean you're home free. Looks like this guy is going to stay. By the way, these other two signs are NPCs. I never really use them for the Sin Fire, but I'm told they're pretty good. But frankly, I don't think they are, but there you go. That's what I hear, so take that with a grain of sorts. Now, one thing you do need to know about Sin is he'd... First of all, toxic. Let me just get that out of the way. And second of all, his hide is made of pretty much like stone, so your weapon will degrade extremely quickly when you're finding him. So I recommend, unless you have a ridiculously durable weapon, bring some repair powder, because you are probably going to need it. Frankly, I would be surprised if we do, just because our weapon is so damn powerful. It shouldn't take us very long to kill Sin, thus it shouldn't take very many hits. Ow! You bastard. Okay, and yeah, again, as you can see, he has York Spear in his chest. Put the cube in my chest. I believe I made that reference last time. <laughs> what can I say? It's one idea. Now, unlike Dark Souls 1, again, if you cut the tail off of a boss, you do not get a weapon. But we're gonna try and detail him anyway, just because A, it's not too difficult to do. In fact, this might be enough. There you go. So now he can't tell us what boss. Limits his moves in, makes it easier. But yeah, other than that, there is no points. But I do enjoy seeing him have a stubby tail. This is what you get for trying to beat me up, you son of a bitch. And I'll say, you know, Rem... Rambunction? What, whatever our summon's name is, I don't really have time to look. 
Oh, Rumbento. I was kind of close. Oh, yeah. I was kind of close with Rambunction. But well, yeah, anyway, again. Toxic, you don't want to be. I just walk straight in the toxic one. I'm a goddamn moron. Okay, very quickly, let's use the moss, I believe. This does cure toxic rats. Yeah, okay. Because in Dark Souls 1, you need a different moss for poison than you do for toxic. But Dark Souls 2, you know, they simplified it a little bit. Is that a good thing? I don't know. I don't really care. The point is, we ain't toxic no more. Probably don't want to be running into that. And neither do you, Rampunction. Or, you know, Romberto. Well, he's, uh. He's dead. <laughs> oh, shit! Okay, that's, uh. That's not good. That's even worse. Oh, please don't kill me as well. Okay. We got lucky there. He flew, we got time to heal. That would really hurt. Okay, we should be able to kill him now, assuming he doesn't decide to fly again immediately. No, he's just gonna punch me. God, I hate you. And spin attack. Get ya. And there we go. Sin the slumbering dragon has been put back to sleep. Praise the sun. So yeah, like I mentioned, I do believe you can make your York spear with his soul. I don't know if you can make anything else. And there we go, we get the crown of the Sunken King. Which means, technically speaking, we are officially done here. That's the point of the DLC, is to get the crown. So we could finish it now. By the way, I'd just like to point out, you know, I'm not boasting, but we have a motherfucking died. Suck it, world. But where we're about to go, Disneyland, we are probably gonna die. I won't lie to you. Unless we can summon people for this fight, but usually whenever I try to, even though this is supposed to be the boss that you co-op, no one ever has their freaking signs down for this boss. So yeah, we may have to do this solo. If we do, we may die a couple of times. We're gonna try not to, you know? But uh, yeah, next up we need to go back to the, I think it's called the Tower of Prayer? Where the hell is it? It's a damn fine question. Oh, it's this one. Yes, the Tower of Prayer. The second bonfire that we acquired, the one where we had to race the platforms, go across to it. From here, we can go back into the Inner Sanctum. You may remember... In fact, I don't think I showed it, so I'm a lying son of a bitch. But uh, there was a door that was locked. We passed it. That is what you need the key for. You remember I picked up the key, I said you want to grab this, and I couldn't remember if you needed it. You need it if you want to get to the third boss. But if you just want to get the crown, then you don't need it. But we want to get to the third boss. So we need to go and use the key on that door, and then we can go in there. There's also some good booty in there, so I do recommend you grab it either way. But I don't know why you wouldn't fight the third boss. Honestly, it may be my favorite of the co-op bosses in the DLC. Don't get me wrong, the double Ava, Ava, whatever the bloody hell those things are called. They're not even called Ava, are they? They have different names, but the double tigers. They, you know, a more unique boss. But, ah, I just, for one thing, as I mentioned, I hate the snowfields so damn much, so I don't really like that boss, because I don't like getting to that boss. The blue smell of demon, I don't really like it, because it's a lazy copy-paste, so I like this one the most, because even though this one is also kind of lazy, because it's just three normal characters, you know, like, uh, it basically just, like, you would look if you were wearing their armor. So, and, you know, not much effort was put into any of them, really, let's be honest here. Except for maybe the Double Tigers, but even then, that was just copy-pasting two Arvas. I don't know, but I like this one the most. And by the way, you want to open this chest, I think the rest of them have dried roots, but this one should have the source, uh, the lightning, cr lightning Crutch. What the hell, brain? What the hell? The Lightning Clutch Ring, which will boost your lightning damage if you have it equipped, but I do believe it makes you take more physical damage when you get hit. So uh, it's kind of a trade-off. Anyway, what the bloody hell was I saying? Yeah, long story short, I like the uh, optional boss of this DLC the most because I like the arena that you find. I mean, I think it's cool flats. Again, it's still kind of lazy, but it's still the one I prefer the most. Plus, it's really easy to get to comparative to the other ones. So that's a plus. All right, so I could have sworn I could hear another bug, but I guess it was just that one dying. I don't know. Anyway, I believe there's another ring up here. I think if I remember correctly, this is the... Maybe... In fact, is this the Sanctum Shield? Yes, it is. Okay, so that's the Sanctum Shield. Where the bloody hell's the other ring? Did I already get it? I don't remember. <laughs> maybe it's in one of those chests down there. Well, if I missed it, then, you know, go grab that. What the hell is a shield? Is it... Oh, that... Uh, okay, that's stamina. Okay, we found it. Yeah, okay, so this one works as a catalyst and as a, you know, a stuff, a sorcery. So, in other words, you can use miracles or magic spells if you have this equipped. 
as you can see. So we could shoot a soul spear out of it. We don't have the stats to wield it, we don't really want to use it, but it's a cool shield nonetheless. Now this area out here is kind of strange. If I recall correctly, there's nothing out here to pick up. No. And you can't light these two torches. But they don't do anything. Like, I figured it would make a bridge back to the beginning or something. I gain a shortcut that you wouldn't necessarily need, but it would at least be somewhat handy. But yeah, it doesn't do anything. So you can light them there. Oh, it's very strange. Oh, by the way, you may notice, I don't know if you can really see from here, but there's a bonfire down the end there. And oh, look, fog gate appears. I wonder why. Yeah, that's right, I've been invaded by Rock Shield Baldia. I guess that's how you say his name, I don't know. This dude is one of the easier Red Phantoms, certainly in the DLC. Especially by DLC standards. Good lord, is this guy a joke? He's also dead. Get out of my sight, you disgust me. So yeah, that guy, not really a huge problem. You do have to be aware though, since he does have a spear, he can poke you whilst he's blocking, so... Sometimes he can be a bit of a bust, but again, just remember the shield bash, and then guy's gonna have a bad time. Okay, so... Try to think. I don't think we can summon anyone out here. I think the way these optional areas work is you always drop down into them. I guess except for the snow fjord. But then again, you take like a coffin cell. Ah. Point is, I think we have to drop down to the area below. Then we can summon someone for this area. There is going to be two NPCs there. I advise, even if you don't want to use them for the boss, that you summon them just to get you to the boss, and then you can always dismiss them afterwards. We're not gonna do that. What I am gonna do, however, is stand around here. I will give it like five minutes or something. Obviously, I'll cut it out. But yeah, I'll wait around here a little bit, see if we can get some co-op, because as I mentioned, there never seems to be any sign here. But I'll wait around very quickly just to see if we can get someone. But, don't get your hopes up. Well, it's been about five minutes. No one has showed up, so screw it. I guess we're going in solo. Again, it's weird because they specifically designed this area as well as the area with the snowfield and the way, oh good lord, and the way to the blue smell of demon as co-op areas. They're tougher than the rest of the places. There's more enemies because they want you to come in here with a couple of buddies. And yeah, especially this one, you fight three bosses in one. It's designed for you to have two dudes on your side, so it's a fair fight. But yeah, I, don't, I guess people just don't like this boss fights, and I, I guess I don't really blame them, but still. I still think it's the best one out of all three of the optional ones. But yeah, oh man, like I say, there's never any summon signs around here, so... I mean, I, I guess I could have gone on Twitter or something, but that would have probably taken a lot longer. So yeah, screw it, I guess we're going in solo. And uh, yes, these statues, unlike the poisonous ones, will start to petrify you. And don't underestimate them, they can petrify you. It's happened to me a couple of times. So usually I like to wear the Ash Knuckle Ring, which raises your petrify resist. But I don't think we're gonna need that because we seem to have pretty good petrify resist already. I guess the black robes that we're wearing have good petrification resistance, which is kind of ironic because we got them from Strayed, and Strayed is petrified when you find him. I don't know, I guess FromSoft are just kind of dicking around. But as you can see, we can s it still goes up fairly quickly. So I'm not gonna promise you that I won't get petrified here. Frankly, it really wouldn't surprise me that much. But you know, oh shit. I'm kind of scared now. But yeah, it could happen, but we got to try not to let it happen. I mean, we can always wait around for it to go down if we need to, but as you can see, there's a lot of enemies around. Oh, God. A lot of enemies around here. Nice try, buddy. See, so yeah, it's kind of dangerous. Now, if I could just take you out. There we go. Harry of justice. Damn. Okay, he's dead. That makes me happy. Once again, just like the dudes that walk around with the poison things on their back, you can also kill these ones. And again, if I had a bow... I suppose we do have a bow, but we suck with them, and we have shitty arrows, and we have a shitty bow, so it's just not really worth it. Fear. So yeah, if we have to snap them with our magic, we'll try and do that. I tried to shield bash you, that did not work. Ow. Screw you. Okay, I was, I was trying, to, I'm trying to backstab you, buddy. You're gonna have to work with me. Don't be Estesin. Okay, there's, there's a bunch of booty around here, and it's all good, so I'm trying to find it. But I'm kind of risking my bacon in the process. I think that way down there is where we need to go. But there's another place around here that looks a lot like that. And that one does have booty down it. So that might have been it, but I don't think it was. Why do you have a torch? The hell are you doing? That's just silly. Got a poison down. Okay, so I think this might be like three bonfire ascetics? Yeah. That's really good. If there's a place you want to farm ascetics, 
this is probably it. But bear in mind, that means you gotta set up the bonfire we were just at. Which means, pretty damn sure you aren't gonna have to kill the grave robbers every single time. So, yeah. Considering that, it might not be a great idea. But I guess it's an easy way to get like six of them. Maybe five technically, because you can come here, pick it up, kill them, acidic egg again, grab them, and then not kill them a second time if you don't want to. But again, if you have cult for this boss fight, and the people aren't completely incompetent, it's not that bad. It really isn't, but it just, you, there's just never any signs around here. You never know, we might get lucky, there might be one in front oh shit. There might be one in front of the gate. Ah, I see the booty over there, that's the one I was thinking of. But yeah, it ain't all that likely. We got Brat Bucks. Bright bugs, I believe, raise your attack and lower how much damage you take for a set period of time. So in other words, they're real freaking good. So what I should probably point out, and I didn't mention this, but I shut it out, is that Malencia actually sells a bunch of them throughout the game. I think she only sells two at a time, and they go up in price the further you get into the game. So what you really should be doing is going to her, buying the ones she has, and then when she's out of stock, come back later after you've beaten another boss or whatever, see if she's got some more, buy them, rinse and repeat, you can get quite a few by the end of the game. I never use them just because... I, I don't necessarily think it, it feels like cheating, but it feels like the easy mode button, you know? Because they really do make a huge difference. So, I don't... it's what I say, I don't know, man, I just put restrictions on myself. I balance the game in my own way, it's kind of one thing I've always done. See, I don't use them because... I think they're a little bit too good, but you know, feel free to use them if you're having trouble, they will probably make quite a difference, but again, you gotta remember, there is only a finite number of them. Again, I'm assuming we can probably respawn those ones with a bonfire aesthetic, so... Yeah, you can probably get them like that, but Melentia will not sell unlimited, and they get very expensive eventually. I think they go up to like, maybe 48 grand a piece, or 64 or something like that. Like, they get pretty goddamn crazy expensive. And yes, if you're looking at this worm and thinking, I recognize this thing, that's because it's the same worm, essentially, from the Goga, oh, from the Gulch. But it's just been copy-pasted and, you know, had its color changed. I don't think other than that it does anything different. Oh, man, it's weird. It's one of the few enemies that they actually copy-pasted for the DLC. For the most part, you know, they were pretty good about that. It's like the worm and, uh, the smell demon. But, you know. I mean, they turned his horns upside down and made him blue. So that's different, kind of. But yeah, other than that, it's just, there's not that much copy-pasting going on. It doesn't really bother me, you know, it's like one enemy, but... It's, it's a little bit strange. Okay, that's real freaking bad. Okay. I wanted to see if we could jump attack them, and maybe that would allow us to hit them from underneath with melee. I don't know. It, it didn't look like they wanted us to do that. So yeah. Okay, I think there's at least one more, in fact, I know there's at least one more item around here somewhere. I don't remember if there's a second one. Yes, this one. Now, this thing is a trap. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to go on there with your, uh, your petrifier as high- I'm gonna get freaking petrified. Oh, shit! Okay. Don't panic. I don't think I have anything to lower it. What we should do is put on that- where, where's the ring? Where's the ring? Where's the ring? There you are. Okay. That will give us better petrify resist. Now we're just gonna wait here. Don't petrify me. If I could kill you, that'd make me real happy. If I could actually hit you, that'd make me even happier. Because, you know, that leads to killing. One day! What the hell? Stop mowing, you dick! Finally! Okay. One more left, we are getting very low on spells, but again, this is why we have a butt ton of amber herbs. And perhaps, by the way, you can buy them unlimited from... Oh, yeah. Okay, let me just point this out. That thing on the right will shoot out a cloud that will petrify you. So, go in there when your bar is not full, pick it up, get the hell out of there. It's not worth it, but if you want it, there you go. But yeah, the Amber Herbs you can buy unlimited from the Crow Demon at the bottom of Brightstone Cove Seldora after you beat Nishandra. Before you kill her, she only has a limited supply. Okay! It's boss time. And yes, unfortunately, it was solo. Frankly, we're probably gonna die. But we gotta do our best not to. That's not the greatest start, okay. Now, as you might imagine, the Havel dude is probably the most dangerous. And yes, he can backstab you, oh god, backstab you. I believe all three of them can backstab you, but uh, Havel will one-shot my ass from full HP, and he likes to backstab. Like, he really does. Do not present your back to him, it's just a bad idea. And also don't trade blows with him like I'm doing, because 
Again, even though we hit like a truck, so does he, don't you dare. I saw you going in for that. You son of a bitch. So yeah, what I advise you do, dump them around there, then come over here and get some free hits off on the archer. But as you can see, the archer is very quick. I don't like you doing that. And she will pull out her sword and start going ham on you when you get close. Oh my god, I'm gonna freaking die. Okay, we're alive, this is not good. Don't want to be near those petrified people. Okie dokie. Just use everything. Use everything. And also keep an eye out behind you. Yeah, I see you there, buddy. I actually think this one, the uh, the one in the Arvik... What the hell is that gear even called? Oh, shit! No! Yeah. <laughs> Damn it! Every time that bastard backstabs me. God, I hate you. The Alva Gear, is that what's called the, the, the knight with the du dual swords? I believe that's actually a female. If you notice when I hit her, she makes kind of, you know, like, eh, girly sounds. Not that all women sound like that. It's not what I'm implying. Okay. Let's go back and try it again, I guess. You know what? Usually I cut out the backtracking, but is that, yeah, is the regular science. Usually I cut out the backtracking, but this once I will show you the quick way to get back there. Again, make sure you are wearing the Ashnoka ring. Drop down that hole, hopefully you don't get hit by that damn thing, and then just run past everything over here. And you can see we're already right down below, right outside the boss fog pretty much. Yeah, this area is dangerous, I'm not gonna lie to you. I have died here running through before, but it's usually few and far between. These guys are pretty slow. It's the spear ones running at you that you want to worry about. But as you can see, you just keep rolling like Fred Dust, and uh, you can get there pretty damn easily. So that's what I usually do. But again, the first time through, I like to fight everything, because it just feels wrong if you don't. Okay, that, uh, that nearly hit me. Come on, hit me. I want you to hit me. No, I don't. Please don't hit me. No, don't go over there. You can see there's a bunch of the- oh, damn, I do a lot of damage, holy shit. Oh, I'm gonna hurt you bad. Come here, you son of a bitch. Come here, buddy. Come on, here we go, okay. Hey, I actually hit him with that. That's one other good thing about Soul Greatsword is that uh, even though it doesn't look like you've done the animation, you still usually at least do some damage right in front of you. It doesn't get all of the range that it normally does if you get interrupted, but whoever's right in front of you usually still gets hit, so. It's really good for situations like that. So yeah, a couple more hits, like literally two hits. We should be able to take down the archer. And then it gets a lot easier from there, because the archer will not leave you alone. Hell yeah, one down, two to go. <laughs> you can see how we're just going over the backstab constantly. Ow, I hate you. I hate you a lot. That was better. It was, still wasn't great though, but it was better. I didn't mean four down here. And yes, they will... Drop down after like that. They will drop down after you. They won't always run all the way around the pathway. Sometimes they will, but often they will just drop straight off. So don't think that's gonna buy you a bunch of time. It's all dangerous. No, you don't. Okay. Thought you were going for the backstab. You were trying to hurt me anyway, and I don't appreciate that. Oh, stop falling off, brain. What the hell are you doing? See, this is why I like this arena. It's like really fun running around here just trying to dodge them. It's really frustrating when Havel backstabs you, but you know, shit happens. There are so many bloodstains here. Holy shit. I mean, one of them's mine. But still, oh, okay. By the way, just for anyone who doesn't know, you cannot parry jump attacks. Exactly the same as Dark Souls 1. If they jump attack you, you can't parry it. So don't try and parry that shit that Havel does. I tried, but in, in my defense, I didn't know he was going to jump attack me. It was just kind of a, a gut reaction. Need to buy some more time here. There we go. Okay, I got my weapon. It's time to die, you sons of bitches. Okay, I really, really want to... Oh, okay. Well, we did some good damage. Why do I keep falling down here? I kind of want to get the Havel away from the... Oh, shit. Havel away from the little guy. Because the little guy should die very quickly. Havel, not so much. Especially as he has a shield. Which he just blocked my attack with. Okay, seriously? No, 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 no. Okay, that kind of works. Stay behind there. Perfect. You did stay behind it. Shit. That's bad. It's not good. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, just, 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 seriously, guys, just let me hit you! Damn, okay, we're even messing up Havel. Need to heal, though, because we can die very easily. Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy! Oh my god, I hate you. Leave me alone, oh shit, okay, I'm gonna come down here, just drink a thing. Okay, be aware, they're probably gonna drop down behind me, that's not necessarily that bad. Because then, surprise, bitch! Damn! Yeah, 
Two down, one to go. I'm gonna hurt you bad. Come on, buddy. I'm ready for you. In fact, you know what? I'm not actually ready for you. I didn't have my parrying dagger out. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No! What the hell? Oh, my God. And then he healed just to taunt me. I hate you. I hate you so much. Yes, yeah, right. Come over here. Just say, oh shit! No, no, oh, no! <laughs> Damn it! I hate Havel so much. Okay, I got my blood stain back. It's clobbering time. I need to sneeze. Oh god, this is not the time. I really, I really. Okay, I think it's gone. Oh sweet Jesus. I always, I always, I, I still need to, oh god, please don't sneeze. Please, this is the worst time, man, holy shit. My nose. Oh god, just, <laughs> oh god, I can, I can feel it, I can feel it coming, oh, please. If I sneeze, I'm gonna get backstabbed, I just know what's gonna happen. Nose, work with me here. I don't know why, I feel like I got a cold today. You can probably tell on my voice. Okay, oh shit. Oh, really, you blocked that, and then you pancaked me. Damn, I got slam dunked. Okay, let's get away from Michael Jordan. Yes, that's how how relevant my, my references are. I don't know modern basketball players, man. I know Michael Jordan. In my defense, I don't think I've ever watched basketball. Okay, seriously, what the hell are you doing? Yes, got your door! Backstab me! Okay. Was was real scared for a second there. I still kind of need to sneeze. It's not going to go away, I can just tell. Nothing is worse than when you know you... Oh, holy shit. Nothing is worse than when you know you need to sneeze. And it will not come, it just will not come. Not that I really want it to happen right now, but still. Yeah, I just walked myself into a, uh, a corner here. Not really my best idea. Luckily, oh yeah, you were going for the backstab as well. Like I say, all of them can do it. It just seems much more common that Havel does for some reason. Cause you know, he's the bastard that will one hit you with it. And yeah, I think the, uh, the little fellas one hit me before. I don't think I've ever been backstabbed by the archer, but I would be very surprised if the other two can do it. And she can't. I, th I think it's a she. Maybe they're all she's. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. You know, how it was all clunky. Oh, yeah, seriously? I'm gonna need to coat my weapon, so if you just piss off for like five seconds, that's not pissing off. It's not pissing off at all. Okay, you know what's great? I'm just gonna trade. I shouldn't have traded blows. I shouldn't have! Okay. Ow. Please stop dunking me, bro. I need to get Okay, seriously. Okay, right, don't run out of stamina for Christ's sakes. Run. Now, need to chug, need to chug. Do a double chug, yeah! I love the double chug, man. Not enough people utilize the double chug! Double chug is your best friend. Holy shit. Okay, you know who's not my best friend? This son of a bitch. I really, really want to kill you, buddy. Like, I'm... Not personal. Well, okay, it is personal. But, you know, it could be more personal. You haven't killed me. Have always killed me every freaking time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Every time he comes at me, I don't know if he's gonna backstab me or just beat my brains out. Either way, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Okay, you are you are not dead. You are not dead. This is a real bad place to be. Between Havel the Rock and a Hard Place. Yes, that was a terrible pun. What do you want from me? Okay, seriously? What 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 are you doing? Can I shoot you? I'll take it. <laughs> nice try, buddy. <laughs> oh you estist! Oh, you sneaky son of a bitch. Alright, can we parry him? That's a no! That's a yes. Oh, that's a paneling. Yes. Victory ghetto. Holy shit. Praise that goddamn son. Okay. Took us like, what, four attempts? But we did it. Wasn't that bad. It could have been worse, man. Ow. I swear to God, if I died to you now. Okay, he's dead. He could have company, though. Seemed to be fine. Holy shit. Yeah, as you saw. You get a good number of souls, like a really good number of souls for killing them. You get some soul consumables, like uh, Petrified Dragon Bones, Tyler Slabs. Whatever the hell it was that we got. You get some random upgrade crap. It's not that bad. But you do not get a unique soul, so you ain't missing out on anything in that respect if you do not kill them. What you are missing out on, however, is... I can't remember what the balls is in here. Oh, that's right, the flower skirt. So this must be a great hero soul? No. Well, all right then. Could have sworn that was one, but maybe there's one over here. I don't remember, but you're missing out on the flower skirt, which is, you know, it's what the name implies. It's a flower skirt. It's kind of cool and kinky. But this is the real reward: the dark 
Dark Great Sword, is that what it's called? Yeah, Dark Great Sword. Darkness. Basically, it's Soul Great Sword, but a hex version. And it has a, uh, a projectile on the end of the attack, kind of like the, you know, sword beam from the Moonlight Great Sword. Brain ain't working today. What do you want from me? So, yes, this is one of the platforms that I was. In fact, no, it's not. Well, fuck me then. I don't remember what the other platform's for. Anyway, point is, we have to feed the DLC. Like I say, next time we will be jumping into New Game Plus, we will do the Iron King and the Ivory King DLC there. Do not fear. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I was appreciate a like, and I'll see you next time for more Dark Souls 2.